Yat a shik ero shne, shiji a mark freelin the shiro, a lot lenigi tots on the slow up kia ani a bushes chin, senja kine de shache, a lot tena betli a shinale. I'm a member of the 24th Navajo Nation Council, representing the chapters of Crown Point, Nadishkij, Tse Ahe, Basenti, Lake Valley, White Rock, Herfano, and Naizi. This message is for my chapters as well as all Navajo people. I bring you this message during a time that brings so many questions and concerns. We are facing the uncertainty that COVID-19 brings not only to us in the Navajo Nation, but across the world. We don't have all the answers or how long we must isolate ourselves at home. What I do know is that it's highly contagious. It affects the re respiratory system, which is especially dangerous for our elderly and those with respiratory problems and low immunity. We have been asked to self-isolate and stay at home. This is extremely important. When we are in crowds, we risk getting the virus and possibly passing it on to our loved ones or to those who are in close proximity with us. I urge you not to be scared or to panic. We, as a people, are strong and resilient. We have lived off the basics before and can do that again as we let this virus pass. We need to think of our loved ones and do what we need to do to protect one another. If you must shop, please only get what you need. Do not hoard. Remember, there are those who cannot make it to the stores, and when they do, they're left with no supplies. Let's think of others. If you buy extra, think of donating it to your neighbor or leave at their doorstep. Like many of you, I have never experienced anything like this. Let's continue to listen to doctors and specialists in infectious disease and nurses and do what we need to do to help stop the spread of COVID-19. Let's flatten the curve. Let's also remember the first responders, the doctors, the nurses, the medical staff, the janitors, and those who are still working on the front lines to serve us. They are all the true heroes in this effort. In order to protect those heroes, I cannot stress enough to stay at home. Please avoid contact with others. This means no shaking hands, Stay six feet apart, wash your hands at least every two hours, or use hand sanitizer. Please don't cough into your hands. Use the inside of your elbow. Do not touch your face. This virus enters our mouths and our noses. I think of all of you, all of our communities, and our beloved Navajo Nation during this time. Let's follow the Navajo Nation's order to stay at home. And through our combined efforts, our prayers, we will get through this together. May God bless you. May God bless our beloved Navajo Nation. Ehehat.